Hi everyone, Todd Domke, Product Manager for SOLIDWORKS here at Hawkridge Systems. Whenever we get our hands on the latest version of the software, SOLIDWORKS that is, in this case 2015 or the 23rd uh, release of the software, I always like to start at the user interface or the UI. This is how you interact with the software. This is how you tell it what you want done. This is how you navigate your model, uh, see what you need to see and what you don't need to see. So it really affects how you get things done. So let's take a look here at a, f a handful of our favorite enhancements to the user interface that I think uh, you, uh, you guys will really appreciate this year. First one is the view selector. This is actually a couple years old, however, it could be improved. We've got now where we can rotate it freely. It does not change orientation when we invoke the command. You notice that it stays in the same orientation, which it did not do before. All these obscured planes, now that we can rotate, it's very easy to see with this preview. You're gonna get, you know exactly which orientation you're gonna get before you even make the selection. Okay, so just a little more flexibility added to it. Uh, they took the user input for, directly from you guys and made, took something good and made it more usable. All right, let's look at hidden components. Okay, I definitely have a few in here. I can see all this hardware. So now when we make a selection, you'll see how it ghosts itself in before I even tell it what I want to do yet. Just by selecting the hidden component in the tree, it's going to show itself to me so I can determine, yes, that is the part that I want to hide or show. Okay, Before I actually unhide the wrong part, I'll know because I can see it right on my screen before I, I tell it to unhide itself. So again, just a little more intuitive, less confusion, less missed selections. Let's look at something interesting here. I have a plane on the exhaust outlet here. Now that was created on the face of this component. So we understand with SOLIDWORKS there are a lot of child, uh, parent-child relationships. Sketches are related to features and reference geometry and components are related to each other through in-context referencing or uh, mates, things like that. There's parts are talking to each other and we need to be able to manage that. So this year you'll see if I just stop and hover over a feature and this could be in a part or an assembly it doesn't matter you'll see that that's telling me that plane is related to that component and that feature so uh, without even having to right click and ask for a menu to see the relationships I can see them in a very visual fashion here so it's really easy to see what's happening in your model so with that being said let's go to uh, our favorites here which is also within the last couple years uh, we can now isolate a component which is a great way to focus on your areas of responsibility or concern without having to look at the entire uh, model, especially if it's large and complex. And again, we can see that mate, what two components it involves and which features. But better yet, I can isolate those components based on that single shared mate. And now if I wanted to save a uh, display state, so I can call this back up and I don't have to keep isolating these two. That's easy, I could do that. However, these have also been made more useful this year. If I go to the properties of that display state, what would happen before is when you make changes to your assembly, like add new components, they would show up in this display state when I really only wanted these two components. That's why I created it. So now we can check this box and tell the SOLIDWORKS to ignore any new components if this is an inactive display state. So it stays exactly the way you, it, it was when you created it, which makes it, again, just more useful. Okay, so uh, let's isolate that again. And I wanna look at creating some holes in this part. This flange here that's made it together. Let's say I have an orientation I like right here, and I'd like to work on this apart. What I can do now is I can open the part as usual, or now the second one over, open part in position. You'll see that the part opens in its ISO orientation, but then it rotates into the same orientation that the part was in the assembly window. So this is really helpful. I don't have to get my head around the part being in a different orientation and getting, uh, getting myself oriented again. So that is also gonna help us move a little bit quicker. We can now customize our context toolbars. You all recognize one when you pick on a planar face. These all look familiar, but what's this? Hole wizard, that makes sense. That should have been there all along. 
what I can do is customize these context toolbars now. So whatever workflow makes sense to you, SolidWorks has unlocked that. There was, again, enough user input that this was desired, and so SolidWorks gave it to us. And so now I can just quickly call up the whole wizard feature, which is, again, very common to do on a flat, pl uh, planar face. So again, just more flexibility, just more doing what you want to do in the software. Uh, something else here, there's a new toolbar. If you right click, call up this configurations, that's, that'll give you this here. And now I can quickly go back and forth. Rather than having to constantly flip between features and configurations and then to activate the right configuration. Now it's just a toolbar, very helpful just gets uh, the right configuration called up a little bit quicker. All right, so let's get back here and get everybody back. And the last thing we'll look at here is making selections. That's something we do quite a bit in the software. It's lots of clicking. And so the last thing we want to do or not do is to lose that work that we've done. So if I pick this group of faces here, okay, I'm going to do something maybe for rendering or for simulation. Okay, and maybe there's one more face I'm trying to get. Oops clicked off, now I just lost all that. What we can do this year, if you right click in space, we've got this context toolbar for view commands. And this one here, it's like magic, previous selection. Click that, everything I just had clicked comes back. It is beautiful. So now um, I won't have to worry about you know, trying to spin my part around and get everything because the, the risk of losing a lot of work isn't there anymore. And now I can also realize, like I said, during certain workflows, I might be selecting this group of faces quite a bit. So what I can do is save that selection, or that set of faces. Okay, and now in my tree here, I've got that group of selections. So we can see all the faces. Here's another one where I've got all this hardware. I might want to turn that on and off very quickly, very frequently. It sure is a lot faster than going through the tree and trying to select all those. So again, a great way to just avoid redoing a lot of your work and making you a lot faster. So again, these are some of our favorite things in the interface for this year, 2015. Uh, watch this space because we're going to be coming out with a uh, huge amount of videos detailing our favorite aspects of the new release and what we think will help you get your job done faster and easier.